shining a light on those people who are left furthest behind is, of course, that one of the critical missions of the Sustainable Development Goals. And data is fundamental to that effort. We can't know if we're succeeding. We can't know if we're meeting our collective ambition to leave no one behind unless we have the data that tells us so. The Charter commits us, in a sense, as we join together to make sure that we are actually taking the steps to do that. As women and girls are half the global population, poor representation of this group constitutes a profound data gap. In the international system, there are really significant challenges when it comes to data around ageing and older people. Firstly, it's about looking at disability desegregation specifically, because that's an area where not a lot of organisations have a lot of capacity. When we look at the inclusive data charter, we are looking at a framework that will enable us to go further in uh, the work that UNFPA is already doing. We have been trying to target the poor without the data being presented in the way that we are promoting now. We will not see these people in the data. As much as possible, we want to go local level statistics, localize the, statistic, uh, the sustainable development goals. We want to have uh, basic data on uh, the basic sectors like fisher folk, farmers, women and children and everything so that uh, we can provide also plans and programs which can cater you know, to these special population groups. How do we make sure we leave no one behind? What gets measured gets done. So um, we absolutely from the government want to deliver on the promises inherent within the SDGs of leaving no one behind and that means you've got to have good data and it's got to be disaggregated so we know the situation of the poorest and the most marginalised. This has to be done together because only together can we bring the pressure to bear to be able to say yes it is important enough to be able to spend the resources on it. Mm -hmm.